everybody, this is Ernie again with Monderosa Farms in Six Mile, South Carolina. I'm wanting to do a little video today and show you another facet of what we're doing. Uh, if you watch any of my videos, and I wish and hope you subscribe because my videos is going to show you a little bit each time what we're doing here uh, in real life, real time, what we're starting with and the different projects we're going to have, uh, how we plan on doing them, how we plan on marketing them. And I want to take out the time and show you another area and thing that we're going to be doing that I haven't showed yet. Okay, this right here is on another part of the farm, and this is what we call the goat barn. And you can see the front, the back, and part of the roof is unfinished. Uh, we'll be getting on that. Uh, this lot that I'm in now, it actually leads to two different pastures. That This will be a hole in there. We can bring them in at night, lock them up in the barn if we need to because we do have coyote problems. Where we located, we'll be redoing all this. But the second thing I wanted to show you and tell you how we doing it, uh, it's nothing real new, but some young people may be out there that don't know nothing about it or heard of it. Uh, how are we going to get all the wood for the various barns for the repairs, uh, stuff we're going to be building, stuff we need to get finished, is you, you notice all these trees I've got out here, and we're going to be getting into some stuff we're going to be doing on our pastures too. But let's take a walk over here. Okay, we're getting into a little bit of land beside that. This right here, I may fix it in and uh, build about three or four different paddocks one day and put pigs in here, uh, let them root it up, then I can sow some grass seed, keep them in there for another day or two, let them cover it up. The idea is to start getting grass and improving that for you know livestock, whatever. But I do have a lot of pine trees scattered out through here. Uh, some big ones, uh, big enough to saw. So what I'm going to be doing starting tomorrow is start dropping pine trees and then I've got a man lined up that has a portable sawmill and he'll come out here and saw the pine logs and the lumber and it's very, very reasonable. Uh, and that'll be my source, taking trees off my own property, paying him to mill them for me and then I've got lumber uh, for, for my barns and uh, whatever other buildings we may decide to build. And the other thing, every time I drop a tree in this area, as well as up through there, there's a lot of hardwood, pulpwood, uh, that's all usable material that I can, I can farm out, I can take to the sawmill. But every time I drop a tree, I open up more of the canopy, which allows sunlight to come in, uh, which is gonna help grass different kind of uh, browse stuff to go, grow for goats or pigs or whatever. This area here we cleared a while back and uh, you can see already how some stuff and it's it's February, the end of February and uh, stuff's already starting to come up. So we're looking forward to that and like I've told you, I'm gonna show you the different things we're doing. On one of these days, I'm gonna do a video and show you on the whiteboard what we're doing why what our goals are what we hope to make as far as income and i'll be doing a video probably tomorrow night that i'll post this weekend i'm calling it uh, how to start your own farm with zero money and that's going to be zero zero two and we're going to be looking at what scale you'd fall in be it small medium or large scale in order to be able to do this for a living. So, if y'all would, like and subscribe. Uh, there's gonna be a lot more coming that they go in sequence. Uh, they tell a story. So, like I always say, that's it for today, and take time to smell the roses.